So we're getting serious, producer. How to create a personal pension plan. Do you take me serious looking just like this? Do you take me serious with this hat? You do not. All right, let's do it this way. How to create a personal pension plan. Is that better? Yeah. All right. That's important because we live in a pensionless world where less than 10% of all private companies out there even offer pensions anymore. I think I read that recently. That sounds high. I think government's the only one that actually offers a pension. But I'm going to go through how to do that, how annuities fit, why they fit, and why if you're looking to put together a personal pension like that, then annuities are really your only choice. I know you don't believe that, but it's true. But being Stan the Annuity Man, America's annuity agent, I'm going to give you the brutal truth about annuities. In fact, producer, I'll tell you what they call me. You're not going to believe this. The walking middle finger of annuity truth. It's true. It is true. A walking middle finger. By the way, let's digress for a second. Let's look at the t-shirt, right? It's the Stan the Annuity Man will do, not, will do U.S. tour. You didn't know I went on that, did you, producer? I went on that tour. Tour bus and everything, it was fantastic. How's that? How's that right there? That's pretty cool, right? Actually, I do travel a lot, and if you do want me to speak at your event, I will show up for a fee. My agent will get involved, but it is the best thing you'll ever see. It's like the Rolling Stones without the amps. It's phenomenal. So with that, speaking of Rolling Stones, let's do a musical interlude, and then I'll be back to talk about personal pension. <laughs> Creating a personal pension. I know, we're doing so many video tricks here, it is crazy. I mean, you'll, be, you'll send this video off and say, hey man, watch their video tricks. It's, it's just unbelievable. Listen, I'm very serious about what I do, because I'm America's annuity agent, but I don't take myself too seriously. We gotta have some fun with this boring, dry subject, but it's important because we're talking about personal pensions. How do you do that? You already own the best pension annuity on the planet for inflation. What is that? No, nope. no. Nope. Yes, it's Social Security. Social Security is an annuity. Social Security is the best inflation annuity on the planet because those increases in your income stream are voted on by our beloved and loved and well-respected, need to be term limited people in Washington, DC. So you already own that. So the question is, do you need more lifetime income? The answer is probably yes for most people. Most people, going toward that finish line of retirement, and there's over 10,000 baby boomers that hit retirement age every single day. That's called a demographic tidal wave of people looking for guarantees. And in a pensionless world where less than 10% of the companies that offer pensions at all, you've got to take that 401k or that retirement savings or those IRA savings, and you've got to create a pension for yourself. So how do you do that? What's the product? What would be the product that creates a lifetime income stream? Um, let me think. Annuities, annuities have a monopoly on that. It's the only product type that will pay you for the rest of your life regardless of how long you live. You don't know the ROI until you die. You don't know the return on investment until you die. Up until that point, it is a pure transfer of risk. So you would think that the annuity industry, because they have a monopoly, anytime in a business environment when you have a monopoly, wouldn't you just pound the table into to the ground that you have the only one with it. But for whatever reason, my friends in the annuity industry cannot get their marketing machine and message going in the same direction to talk about lifetime income stream. There's some people out there that are trying right now, but it needs to be a lot louder. Okay, so creating your personal pension can, you can do it two ways. You can say, hey, I need income to start right now. I want to create my personal pension right now. That product would be a single premium immediate annuity. It's a transfer of risk. It's a pension that's based on your life expectancy at the time you take the payments. Interest plays a secondary role. You can buy it in a regular IRA. You can convert your 401k into that. You can buy it in a non-IRA setting. It all comes down to the guarantees are the same. It just all comes down to how the income stream is taxed and that income is for the rest of your life. You can also customize that structure so that 100% of any unused money goes to the listed beneficiary of the policy, beneficiaries if you have more than one, and the evil annuity company doesn't keep a penny. I know a lot of people go, well, I'd never buy an annuity stand because when I die, the money goes poof. 
That's only one of 35 ways to structure it. That's called a life-only annuity. There's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want. You don't give a rip about your kids. You just want the highest payment. But most people don't choose that. Most people want to make sure that they want the lifetime income stream. They want that guarantee, but they want to make sure that 100% of the money goes to the beneficiaries if something happens. You can also do a period certain. You can say, hey, I don't want the lifetime because I'm not going to live that long. I just want 10 years of payments or 20 years of payments. I had a call the other day. We went through the whole scenario and, and really interesting guy. I mean, he had been in wars, he had lost a lung, really tragic stuff had happened. And he finally said, you know what, Stan, I, I don't think I'm gonna live that long. I'm 62 years old, my, my father died when he was 65, blah, 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 blah. He goes, I just think I want a 15 year period certain annuity. Because you know what, if I live to 77, great. And I want the highest payment and that's what we did. So. It's customizable. I'm listening to him. I'm not going to force a square peg into a round hole and say, no, you have to get li a life only or a life with 15. He wanted 15 years certain. Great. That's perfect. So what happens under that scenario? If he dies year five, someone is going to get 10 more years of payments. If he lives 16 years, no more payments. If he structured it life with 15 years, right, he'd get paid for the rest of his life, regardless of how long he lived. But if he died in year six, there'd be nine more years of payments. Nine plus six is 15, right, producer? Okay, the other way to set up a personal pension plan is if you don't need the money now, let's just say you need income to start seven years from now, but you want to set it up to, you know, to the penny what that contractual guaranteed amount is going to be seven years from now for, say, you and you and your spouse. You can do that. That's not a single premium immediate annuity. That's a deferred income annuity or a QLAC if it's in an IRA and an income writer. We'll quote all of them using our proprietary annuity calculators, best on the planet, quoting all carriers, pretty much everyone on the planet, to find the highest contractual guarantee for your specific situation. Now, deferred income annuities are very simplistic, stripped down annuities like immediate annuities. It's the cousin of an immediate annuity. And then income writers are attached benefits to policies like index annuities or variable annuities that guarantee a lifetime income stream at a specific time that you choose in the future. And you gotta say, wait a minute, why two? I don't know, they're just two. And you quote them. If anyone, if you're doing an in, what I would call an income later quote and, and an agent only shows you one of the two types, they're not doing their job. They're not being a fiduciary. They're not showing you all choices. When you're doing an income later choice like that or, or quote, you gotta quote both. You gotta use the, our annuity calculators for both and then they're both gonna get to, like here's both products. They both get to the contractual guaranteed finish line, but they take two different paths to get there. They both have unique benefit propositions and limitations of which we will explain. And you might come to the conclusion that one or the other fits your situation perfectly, or you might say, you know what? I'm gonna do half of one and half in the other because both of them are unique. And a lot of it comes down to where, where the money's coming from. Is it, is it traditional IRA money? Is it Roth IRA money? Is it non IRA money? And we will help you make those decisions on which one of those fits in the best account type, you know, IRA, Roth, or, or non-IRA. So if someone's out there saying, I've got the best annuity for you, eh, wrong answer, okay? Either whether you're quoting immediate annuities, deferred income annuities, QLACs, or income riders, you should be seeing at least five different carriers for that specific situation. If someone is not showing you that, then, you know, hang the phone up, walk out of the office and go to theannuityman.com and use our annuity calculators that quotes everybody. People always ask me, hey Stan, what's your favorite annuity? What's your favorite carrier? What's your favorite company name? I don't have one. My favorite annuity is the one that finishes first contractually for your specific situation. I don't know the name of it. I don't know that going in. We just go in the quotes blindly because annuity quotes are like a gallon of milk. They change every seven to 10 days unless you lock them in going toward the application process. Other than that, they're commodity products. We just, you know, we just quote them. Just like you buy a plane ticket. You punch in your stuff, you see the, the best deal, same thing. You punch in your stuff, we punch it in for you, or you punch it in yourself, and you see the best deal. Speaking of best deals, I did, I actually did a video called How to Find the Best Pension Annuity Deals. Makes sense, right? We're talking about setting up a personal pension. I've already covered it. So with this video and that video, you're getting closer to the informational finish line. That doesn't mean you need to buy it. That doesn't mean there's a pound on the table reason to buy it. That doesn't mean that there's an urgency to buy it. The only urgency, by the way, with annuities is to learn, is to understand the benefits and limitations and to make your decision on your terms and on your time frame. period. You're buying a contract, so there's no 
hey, you got to buy it right now. If anyone says that, then they, they need to buy it and make a payment on their house and they need to sell you the annuity. So don't be swayed. With that, go to theannuityman.com to use our annuity calculators or to get my books on annuities. I'll send them to you for free. I do a podcast every week on annuities called The Annuity Man Podcast on all major platforms. And I write every single day for a major platform. Right now, I'm writing for thestreet.com, great company, but I've written for just about everybody. And I also do a blog post as well. Bottom line is I'm educating out here. I want you to understand annuities for what they do and what they don't do, the good, the bad, the limitations, the brutal truth, as they say. So do me a favor, click the subscribe button before you leave, and I'll see you on the next Stan the Annuity Man video.